Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Honeywell Home Pro 2000 Series Digital Programmable Thermostat. And this video is going to be covering the setup menu and how to factory restore the device. I have other videos covering manual override as well as full programming of it. So check out those videos, but let's get into the manual setup um, or setup installer menu for this device. So in order to get to that menu, the key is to hold down these two buttons, the up and down arrow. Now, as you can see, we have a function and then the setting here in, smaller, in a smaller font. So in order to cycle through these, you have to hold down the buttons one more time. So as you can see, as I press down, I cycled through the configuration settings and it allows you to change some things on the device. This is very important to do when you first have the device, you get it brand new or you get it off of eBay or whatever used from a friend or however, which way you do it. Um, you wanna go in here and set this up for your type of heating system, cooling system and type of configuration. And, and All right, so one other thing I wanna mention is if you flip this thing over on the back side and remove the base plate on the, on the back, there is another setting here. So as you can see there, there's a switch. So the top of the switch is gonna be for electric or heat pump, and then flick the switch down for gas or oil. So that's a setting you're gonna to wanna to make as well. So keep, keep that in mind. There is a little switch back there. So let's put back the, the mounting plate and let's set this thing back down. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you right in the manual what each one of these settings or functions do. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, number five, the setup function is going to be heating cycle rate. So CPH cycles per hour. Five is gonna be for gas or oil furnaces of less than 90% efficiency. Setting one is gonna be for steam or gravity systems. Three is gonna be for hot water systems and furnaces over 90% efficiency. Six is gonna be for electric furnaces. Function number six is gonna be for auxiliary heat cycle rate per hour, so CPH. Three is gonna be for hot water systems and furnaces over 90% efficiency. Make sure you guys are centered there. Number one is gonna be for steam or gravity systems Five is gonna be for gas or oil furnaces of less than 90% efficiency. And setting six is gonna be for electric furnaces. Function number nine, that's compressor cycle rate. So CPH, same thing. Number three is gonna be recommended for most compressors. Other cycle rate options are one, two, four, five, or six CPH, cycles per hour. You don't want to excessively cycle your compressor too many times per hour, so you might wanna set that down to like three or so, three or four. Um, this is just to prevent the compressor turning off and on too many times uh, and, and causing um, fatigue and overheating and stuff like that. Function number 13 is early start. One is on and zero is off. So this right here, you want most likely you're gonna to wanna to turn it off because what happens is if you have this turned on, the system might start an hour or so earlier to come up to your set point of, 70, of 72, say. Um, mo some people don't like that because they want the heat to turn on when they set it or program it. So if you want that to be ex an exact number and not start early, turn on that, sorry, turn off that early start. So keep that on off, so zero. Function 14 is gonna be temperature display. Zero is Fahrenheit, one is Celsius. 15 is compressor protection. One is five minute compressor protection off time. Zero is no compressor off time. This is also very important. Keep that at the number one setting. So five minute compressor off time. That basically means it waits five minutes until it starts the compressor. And if you ever see your, your cooling on flashing, that's what that means. It's actually in the wait time period. So the compressor protection is active. So after five minutes, it's gonna turn on, obviously. Function number 20 is gonna be the clock display. Zero is 12 hour, one is 24 hour display. 
25 is lower temperature range. So zero is standard temperature range, which is 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. One is a lower range for garage model. So the, the lower range is going to be 35 degrees to 90 degrees. So that's something you would want in if you had this thing in a garage where it usually gets colder and you don't want the heat turning on excessively. All right, so number 40 is going to be restore program schedule to default. Zero is off, one is on, which is going to program schedule default settings are listed in the operation manual. So whatever is in this manual is going to be your default settings for the program. You don't want that. Uh, you're going to want to either turn it off or go ahead and set that yourself. So you're going to go through that um, that process of setting up each time period, just like I show in my other video. So keep watch that other video if you want to see how I do that. But very important to set this thing up to actually pr be programmed and to automatically function the way you want it and have the proper set point. But that there is the list of the installer setup functions and what they mean really quickly, right out of the menu, um, right out of the manual here. And um, some of you guys might not have the manual, so this is a, a lifesaver. So I'm just gonna give you guys a, a closer shot of the manual, just so you have a reference. Some people bust my chops, say, oh, I can read. Yeah, no kidding, I know you can read, but some people don't have the, the, uh, the benefit of having a manual in front of them. So this is why the video is here as well. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Um, but that's about it, guys. I mean, this is a, a great thermostat. So check out my other videos. Uh, check out my thermostat playlist for other types of thermostats as well. Uh, but that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And... Um, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.